Hello and welcome back to another video. This problem we're given that f is a differentiable function and given that we need to find the derivative of all of these equations here. So for a, the derivative of x squared f of x, we're going to use the product rule. So we have x squared times the derivative of f plus f times the derivative of x squared. Right? And this is the product rule where you take one times the derivative of the other plus the other times the derivative of the first. Simplifying this, we get x squared times the derivative of f of x, we can just write in this form, plus f of x times the derivative of x squared, we have a power function, so you bring down the exponent into the coefficient, and then you have x to its new exponent, which is the old one minus one, so two minus one, make this x to the first, which is just x. So this is our derivative for a. For b, we have a fraction, so we can use the quotient rule. So we have the denominator times the derivative of the numerator, which we can just write in that form straight off the bat now, minus the numerator times the derivative of the denominator over the denominator squared. And this is equal to x squared times the derivative of f minus, we just found the derivative of x squared is 2x times f of x over x squared squared. Doing it to the next power, you multiply the two exponents, so x to the 2 times 2, which is x to the 4. There's our answer for b. For c, we have a similar thing, just the fraction that flipped. So the derivative is the denominator times the derivative of the numerator minus the numerator times the derivative of the denominator over the denominator squared. So we have the derivative of x squared is 2x. Again, we don't have to do it, calculate it twice, times f of x minus x squared times the derivative of f over f of x squared. So that's c. Last but not least, we have d. So we have this fraction here. Um, I'm gonna get rid of the square root of x and just have it as x to the 1 half, since we can find the derivative of that more easily. So with this fraction, we use the quotient rule once again. So we have the denominator times the derivative of the numerator minus the numerator times the derivative of the denominator over the denominator squared. So firstly, we have x to the 1 half times the derivative of 1 is just 0, so we don't even have to write that. So it's going to be 0 plus a bunch of stuff, which doesn't actually change the value. As the derivative of x f of x, doing this we're going to need the product rule. So this is going to be x times the derivative of f plus f times the derivative of x. That's the product rule. You have 1 times the derivative of the other plus the other times the derivative of the first. Minus 1 plus x f of x, the derivative of x to the 1 half. We have a power function, so we bring down the exponent times x to the old exponent minus 1, so it's 1 half minus 1, which is negative 1 half. And this is over x to the 1 half squared. Bringing this to a new power, we multiply the exponents, so x to the 1 half times 2 is x to the 1, which is just x. And then writing this out, we have x to the 1 half times x f prime of x plus f of x times the derivative of x. x is a linear term, so its derivative is its coefficient. So we just have 1. So f of x times 1 is still f of x. And then this is going to be minus 1 plus x f of x. Put the 1 half out front times x to the negative 1 half. And this is all over x. 
And this is your solution for D. If you want to distribute x to the one half into here or x to the negative one half in here, you can do that. It doesn't make it any simpler, but obviously still an option. But as always, thank you for liking and subscribing, and I'll see you in the next video.